Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We will introduce how to set lighting for a daytime interior space with D5 Render 2.4. Let's start by checking the final renderings. You can see the day lighting is realistic and natural, yet we only set three artificial lights for this scene. The rest is up to HDRI. Thanks to the global illumination of D5 Render 2.4, which saves quite a lot of time for interior designers. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel. First things first, import models and materials from your modeling tool into D5 with the LiveSync plug in D5 Converter. Here we use 3ds Max as an example. Other DCC software work the same way. As we mainly talk about lighting here, materials and perspectives have been set beforehand. Clear all the environment, effect and light settings. Turn off auto exposure because we need to manually set the exposure according to the overall environment. Switch to HDRI in the environment panel. We'll share several high quality HDRIs in the video description. You can download them and give them a try. Here we choose an almost pure white HDRI. At this time, the scene will become dazzling because the HDRI itself is very bright, plus the significant improvement of D5GI. Thus, we need to reduce the HDRI brightness to 0.2 to fit with the daylight interior atmosphere. We switch on the sun option, give it a proper angle, and adjust the sun disk radius. Then adjust the color temperature of HDRI sky cooler while that of the sun is warmer. Here's a tip to quickly create an atmospheric light and shadow. Place some trees outside the window, so the sun will leave a nice projection. After finishing the setting, don't forget to save these changes by clicking update in the scene list. As you can see, powered by D5GI, the effect of natural light alone is already very good. For this kind of wabi-sabi style, dim and high contrast effects can better deliver the vibe. Now the ambient lighting has been set. We need more details of specular reflection and a better balanced brightness of environment. So we're going to add some artificial light. Note that the D5GI performs well in interior lighting. You only need one or two lights for such a living room. First, set a main light source for the space. We add a rectangular light far away outside the window and make it a bit tilted. Increase its attenuation radius to cover the whole model. Save these settings and continue to edit this light. Give the light a color temperature of around 6,200, which makes it similar to the skylight. As the light has a large size, it shouldn't be too bright. Why do we need this rect light? First, to better light up the scene. When the wall and floor materials look dark, HDRI alone is not sufficient to balance the whole picture. If we increase HDRI lighting intensity, it may result in overexposure. Therefore, a rectangular light is a better choice. Second, to refine the details, the light source enables more specular details on reflective objects. Take this metal texture, for example. You can see the difference before and after the light is turned on. Move on to add the next rect light, which has a smaller size than the window. Set a barn door angle to create focused light beams, a neutral color temperature, and a proper brightness. In this way, the room will be more atmospheric when the light passes through. It will also enhance the contrast of the scene and give objects clearer outlines, thus making them look more solid. If the room has a glazed ceiling or ground, the light will add more reflections. Repeat this process for the restaurant and kitchen. Now you can see the difference. To better reproduce the lighting in the real world, we put some spotlights on the ceiling and some strip lights in the dark corners. Note that all the lights should have the same color temperature decrease their brightness intensity. Otherwise, they will be too bright to look realistic. The lighting is all set. In the effect panel, we can make some post-processing such as highlight, which darkens the shiny part a bit. Thanks to the lighting we set before, there's no need to adjust exposure and contrast anymore. Pull the white balance to the right, and the scene will have a warm yellow tone which suits the wabi-sabi style. Finally, add a bloom effect. We're all set to render. That completes our tutorial for daytime interior lighting with D5 Render 2.4. You can download the scene and give it a try on your own. We look forward to seeing your works created with these skills. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.